Hello guys, in last video we created a star material and in this video we will use the material in Nagra. Now let's start it. Okay, first let's create a Nagra system and use the function templates to introduce some Nagra modules. Okay, let's skip the emitter state. The spawn module in emitter update, we often use two spawn modules, spawn burst instantaneous and spawn rate. Spawn rate means continuous spawn, you can see in the preview. And spawn burst instantaneous means a single spawn, just once, like this. In this video, we use the spawn rate, so let's delete the spawn burst instantaneous. And the emitter state, it has two life cycle mode, self and system. When we use system mode, all emitters that use this mode are controlled by the system for their life cycle. And the loop behavior also has three modes, infinite, once and multiple. When we use the infinite mode, the particles will continue to spawn. And once the particles will continue to spawn during the loop duration, we can now see the loop duration is 5 and uh, we use the spawn rate. So the particles will continue to spawn within 5 seconds. We can set the loop duration to 1. Now we can see the particles will continue to spawn within one second. And multiple. Multiple means multiple ones. We can use spawn burst to show the multiple. Set the spawn count to 90. Now the particles will spawn 90 at once. And we set the loop count to 5. That means the particles will spawn 90 at once and execute every loop duration 1 second, total of loop count 5 times. We can also set the loop duration to 0.1. Now the particles spawn faster. If we use the spawn rate and multiple, the particles will look like once mode. In this video, we use the life cycle mode to self and loop behavior to infinite and the particle spawn initialize particle. First is lifetime, that means duration of each particle. We can set the lifetime to random or direct. Now we direct set the lifetime to 1. And to show the lifetime, we close the other modules. Now we can see the particle will be killed after one second. Also, we can use the random lifetime mode. Now the particle will continue its own lifetime and then be killed. And color mode, we can set the particle's color at here. For example, a red color. And the position mode, we can set the particle's position at here. For example, we can set the Z axis 100. Now the particle's position is moving upwards by 100 centimeters. And the spirit size mode, we can select four modes. In here, we can set the spirit size. For example, the mean is one, max is two. The particle looks like smaller than before. And the spirit rotation, we need a new spirit material to show the rotation. We can use the ribbon material. Now we can see the particle's rotation is random because we use the random mode. If we use the unset mode, the particle's rotation is zero. 
In this video, we use the uh, random mode. Let's reset this setting. Spread size and spread material. Next, shape location. We can set the sample position of particles here, which is the shape of particles composition. Now the shape is a sphere. We can set the sphere radius. We can increase the spawn count to make it look more like a sphere. 1000. Yeah, it looks like a sphere now. We can also use other shapes, cylinder, box, ring, and so on. We can also set the sphere surface to 1. This way, particles will only be spawned on the surface of the sphere. Ok, let's skip the unused module. Scale color. This value here will be multiplied by the color value we set in the initialized particle. X multiply the R channel, Y is G, Z is B. Alpha is opacity. Now we set the fountain Niagara in the level and use the star material we created in the last video to the sprite render. This is the first step in our effect. And we need to add some dynamic parameters in the star material so that we can use it in the Niagara. Also, we need a particle color to help us change the material color in Niagara. and the flash effect control by time. If the particles all flash at the same time, it looks terrible, so we need to separate their flash times. We can add a dynamic parameter and use this parameter add to time. Also rename the parameter to random. We can also multiply it by a parameter to control the flash frequency. And rename it to flash. OK, save the material. Now we can see the particle's color is blue. If we want to particles colorful, we need to change the color mode to random range and the color channel mode to random channel. And set the scale color RGB channel all to 100. Now we can see the particle is colorful. Let's see the effect in the level. Now we need to add a dynamic parameters to control the flash time and the frequency. So the random time, also the random value, 0 to 1. If we close other modules and set the sphere radius to 100, also set the dynamic parameter flash to 1. Now we can see the particles are not flash at the same time. Also the flash frequency need a random value. 1, 2, 3. 
Now the particle's flash frequency is also different. Let's see the effect in the level again. Yeah, it looks better. And we want particles to fall like a leaf. So we need a wind force module. Just fix issue. And we need to change the wind speed. Because the particles is false, so the wind speed uh, z axis need to a negative value. So we give it a negative 100. Now we can see the particles are fall like a leaf. And we need to set the particles star position. Let's find the shape location, transform and set the offset z axis 1000 Oh, it's too high. Let's set the value to 300 Yeah, it looks better And set the sphere radius Set the radius to 500 Now the particle's spawn range is large enough Also we need to increase spawn rate 500 Now our effect is almost complete just add a split rotation rate. This module can make our particles rotate. Like this. Also, we can give the rotation rate a random value. Rotate in different directions and the speed is better. Negative 100 to 100. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoy it. Bye.